looking for the best home theater systems. Here I have made a list of the top 5 best home theater systems in the market that are worth buying. Let's get started with the video. Number 5 If you don't want a soundbar, but still want the simplicity of a system based on a soundbar, the Logitech Z905.1 surround sound speaker system is a fantastic option. You get everything you need all in one package but still have a complete 5.1 channel setup. This THX certified home theater system doesn't feature Dolby Atmos or DTS, X, as there are no upward firing speakers. That said, it does feature DTS and Dolby Digital, ensuring that everything you hear out of this system is crystal clear. Unlike many home theater in a box solutions, the Logitech Z906 actually features one speaker per channel. That means you're getting stereo, left and right, and left and right surround channels as well as a subwoofer. The subwoofer here is substantial, given the overall price. You get an 8-inch driver powered by a 165-watt amplifier in the subwoofer, enough to add significant bass to explosions, thundering engines, or anything else that makes your movies more exciting. One interesting inclusion in the Z906 is something Logitech calls 3D Stereo. This takes older movies and TV shows or any other stereo audio content and expands it to encompass the room via the surround channels. It's a neat audio upgrade that not every home theater setup can do. The Logitech Z906 doesn't feature HDMI but it does feature inputs for up to six devices split between analog and digital inputs. You get RCA analog, digital coaxial, and digital optical ports. Number 4 If you tend to the minimal and can't stand the idea of wires running all over your living room, the JBL Bar 5.1 is precisely what you've been looking for. This is as wireless as home theater systems can get. As the name implies, this is a 5.1 channel system, but you only have four speakers to deal with. You get the main soundbar, a subwoofer, and two satellite speakers. These are where things get a little different from your average soundbar setup. Many satellite speakers are partially wireless, meaning they don't have cables carrying sound from the receiver, but do need to be plugged into a power source. The satellite speakers in the JBL Bar 5.1 package are fully wireless. Thanks to internal batteries, you don't even need to plug them into power. The wireless satellite speakers last up to 10 hours on a single charge. When it's time to charge them, just attach them to the built-in charging points on the main soundbar. All you need to plug into the wall of the soundbar itself and the subwoofer, which boasts a 10-inch driver. Looking at connectivity, the JBL Bar 5.1 features three HDMI inputs and one HDMI ARC output, letting it sit between your Blu-ray player or streaming devices and your TV. To keep things simple, the JBL Bar 5.1 works with many TV remotes, but it also includes its own. One final unique feature is JBL SoundShift, which lets you switch between playing your TV audio on the soundbar and playing audio from your phone taking your music wherever you go easily. Number 3 If Bose has the power to create some of the best sounding speakers in the world, then surely it can deliver an excellent surround sound setup. It's right over here, the Bose home theater system. The set includes a console, center speaker, four omni-dual speakers, and two wireless receivers. While the front and center need a wired connection, those at the rear don't require cables and wires at all. All thanks to its Akaus Timus module. The great thing about the Omnijuals is that compared to other speaker systems, it disperses audio waves differently. Following a 360 degree pattern, all listeners have a fair share of a highly immersive experience. With its exclusive adaptive technology, you can also save time and effort figuring out the right settings. Now you don't have to manually configure your Bose surround sound. It automatically calibrates the system. In terms of connectivity, the system has added a sound touch option on top of Bluetooth and AirPlay. 
you can use this to play media from your phone through the Sound Touch app. The Bose Home Theater package costs $3,999. With the absence of Dolby Atmos and DTS, X support, this price is a little outrageous. If we compare it against wireless surround sound speakers like the Shockwave Ultra or Vizio Smartcast, this won't stand a chance. But if we talk about sound clarity and bass power, this brand is still a front runner. Number 2 Who says building your own movie theater has to be expensive? Surround sound systems like the Poke Audio 5.1 Channel Home Theater System can deliver the complete audio range for a fraction of the cost. The unit is composed of three different speakers from the T-Series collection. The first one is the T30 Center Channel Speaker, which gives an immersive sound output. With its powerful tweeter and dynamic balance drivers, you can get deeper bass and clearer vocals that can fill up small to medium spaces. For an effective home theater kit, this one's a must. You also get two massive T50 floor standing speakers. Watching a hot pursuit from an action film would sound glorious with the bass radiators. They perfectly amplify what you already hear from the channel speaker. But on top of that, these towers also balance and distribute the sound to the farthest corners of your mini theater. They are simply the best home speakers, even on their own. To complete the set, there are two additional T15 bookshelf speakers for that full surround sound setup. You can put them beside the center channel, at the far sides, or at the back. Whichever way, they can still do what they do best. That is, to capture small audio details and make sound effects as realistic as possible. It supports Dolby Atmos and DTS surround formats too, so no issues in the soundtrack department. The only setback is that the sound quality on dialogues can be a little lackluster. But if you're willing to add an extra, Poke's PSW10 subwoofer should be enough to enhance that. Like we said, this 5.1 surround sound model doesn't cost a lot of bucks. For a price of $655, you can get a decent speaker system that's easily comparable with big brands like Bose, Sony, or Philips. It may be an entry-level unit, but not bad for budget home theater systems. Number 1 If you're looking for the best home theater system, you found it. The Nakamichi Shock with Ultra 9, 2, 4 offers a superior 360-degree surround sound experience that goes with your stunning television display. The scene stealer here is the 45.5-inch soundbar. It's the winner of the Dolby Atmos sound the battle. With six full-range drivers and two surround effect tweeters, it perfectly bounces off the sound through your walls. Yes to clearer and crisper audio. Aside from Dolby Atmos, its advanced support for top-notch formats like Dolby True HD, Dolby Digital Plus, DTS HD, and DTS HD Master Audio also make it a topic. Of course, the sound should match your killer visuals. For video pass-through, it supports Dolby Vision, 4K Blu-ray, HDR, and UHD formats. It's equipped with the world's first 10-inch dual subwoofers as well. A single subwoofer can already elevate your sound. Adding another unit will bring out your rich bass tones even more. You get wireless speakers for DV, so you won't get tangled in annoying wires and cables. The wire pieces, though, are the four additional surround speakers. There's two on each side and another two at the back. They effectively disperse various tunes around your space for a more immersive experience. To make this work, Nakamichi uses its Spatial Surround Elevation SSE, technology. That's a mouthful. So what it basically does is highlight all the sound directions, bring out tiny details and enlarge the space for a lifelike audio quality. All these elements, put together in a simple plug-and-play setup. And you're free to reconfigure everything in your room with a remote control. The Shock with Ultra costs $1,499. If you don't mind paying the huge price, then this would be a great investment. It is the best home theater system for under 2000 bucks. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped you. If you found this video useful, 
Please don't forget to like comments and subscribe so you don't miss anything. We'll see you next time.